Today, Poppy and Posey go to their new homes, and we have a few things we have to do to them first before they're ready to go. But before even that, it's milking time. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. Did you know that every day I actually wrote the ghost to a song? You do? What I song? Do. No, it's not the same song I changed. <laughs> What's today's song then? Gary Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to hear though, you can't tell. And then they run out of milk and then you can't do it anymore. <laughs> Baby poop in the feeder. The worst. <laughs> it's okay though, right? Because it makes the adults not eat it, right? No. Then the babies will still eat it. Perfect. Uh. Is she being naughty today? Yeah, she's like trying to kick. Oh my gosh. Jeez. No, see? being so naughty, you never do this. Does she have enough food? Yeah, I gave her some scoops. But she needs, she, she's eating it right now. Doris, what is wrong? Why are you being like that? All right. Sorry, Luna, fast enough. Chili's turn. Ready, go. She bites my fingers. <sighs> Yay, you're free. Go find the mamas. Oh, you let Flo or not Floki, I almost called him Floki. Lydia, you let Harvey out. Oh my gosh, it's a frenzy. Penny's Milky and Poppy and Posey one last time. Oh, okay. ho. Oi. <laughs> you bite your She's skin. like biting herself. I know, I'm sorry. I know you're hungry. All right, we ready? We can ready. do it. Go. One, two. Then you gotta touch your tail. where she's going. I hate her wonky teeth so much. <laughs> so hey, but she can't help it. Do you milk one hand at a time? This side's like done. Oh, okay. This side has so much more milk. Willow's so patient. She's ready for her supplements. All right, let her go. She's good. Good job, Luna. Oh, Willow's so excited. Yay! It's pretty crazy that we're getting a full gallon of milk from just that little group of goats out there. So we were milking three Nigerians and one Nubian. It's giving us one gallon. But that's because the babies are drinking the other gallon for the other part of the day. So once the babies are all gone, we're gonna get two gallons of milk a day. It's a lot. We're gonna have to make a lot of butter. <laughs> So we're trying to hurry and get this done before the people come to pick up Poppy and Posey. We have to trim their hooves, give them a CD&T vaccine, tattoo their ears, which is part of what they need for their registration, and then we're gonna give them their last herbal dewormer for the year. So let's see how fast we can get this done. Are you ready, baby? We've noticed we don't have to trim the hooves too much. They just usually have a little bit of growth. So we trim that up and as usual, they do not like the herbal deworming, but they deal with it just fine. And then 
They do pretty well with their little CD&T vaccine. The tattooing is always a big disaster because the ink gets everywhere. It's such a pain, but it's kind of a necessary thing for registered goats. All right, so we're all ready to go. Now we're just waiting on the first person to arrive. We're pretty excited. Child, I know you're hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. All right, guys, this is Emma. Hello, and she is going to take Poppy home. So, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> She's got a sister and two brothers to go home to, so. All right, so she already has some other Nigerian goats and it's gonna be a really good situation for her, so. We're good. excited. All right. It's not fair. You did your time. So we have our next person picking up uh, Posey today, and this is Ariel. She lives just like 20 minutes away, so it'll be fun. She already has a couple goats too, so she won't be totally alone. Thanks. So, are you yep. pretty excited? I am so excited. Been waiting all day. So this is your third goat, though. So you're like you are already pretty familiar with raising goats, mm -hmm. and like I haven't had one this tiny yet, though. The I got them a little bit older. So yeah. Okay. I'm really excited to have a little baby jumping around. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> She doesn't want to say goodbye to me. <laughs> she wants me to put her down. All right, she's done with you. Let's eat your boots. <laughs> you got her. Just didn't give up. So nice. Luna. Luna, that's really nice of you. You are so, so nice. Does he want to look at you? She's like, no, <laughs> don't know. She's so mad. I seriously wonder what Luna thinks of us. <laughs> well, do you guys think Penny is sad? I don't know. Uh, she's got one left. Yep, she still has Oakley there. Yeah. She's okay, she doesn't even know they're gone. I usually don't notice our goats crying too much when their babies are gone, especially when they're older, like eight to 10 weeks old. But Penny is such a good mama, you would think that she would cry when her babies go. But she's kind of like. Her udder is less sore because those babies aren't hurting her so bad. Less fighting over her teats, that's for sure. It's pretty sad to see Harvey locked up, but um, kind of a necessary thing we have to do. He screamed for about a day and then he lost his voice, which is really sad. He's gonna go to his new home soon as well, so he will have a new place with new goats that he can breed all he wants. <laughs> so yesterday, Kiwi was just wandering. She got off her nest for a little bit just to get water and whatever, and we were looking at her eggs. We noticed one was cracked, so we were like, oh, that's not a chick. So we took it out, and we opened it, and inside there was like a half-formed chick. It was so small, though. It, so it Kiwi wasn't... pushed it away, do you think maybe she knew yeah it was far away like five feet away she had left it there for a couple weeks you can show what it looks like but the dogs ate it <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens we've got how many days left I'll write it down on the screen yeah that's pretty cool Easy as pie, lemon, apple, or cherry. Loving you is so very sweet, sweet, sweet. How can it be such a piece of cake? And your smile is the icing. Loving you is a pun. It's sweet, sweet, sweet. How can it be? And you make my candy coated hard melt. When you take my hand and I am under your spell, baby, I crave your affection. When I stepped in sweet confection, I need your my 
So I decided to go with raspberry ice cream, which starts with a raspberry puree, and then a bunch of cream, a bunch of milk, a bunch of sugar, and it came out pretty well. The recipe was pretty good. It called for actually a little too much cream. We are not used to really creamy ice cream because we're usually eating the goat's milk ice cream, which is just whole milk, and so it tastes a little bit icy, like ice milk, not really creamy, creamy, but it worked. So I think next time we'll try for less cream and we'll try to do some either honey or maple syrup instead. So it still worked out though.